Two years ago I made a video about cost of life in Barcelona, but I feel like it needs a refresher. Cost of life in Barcelona has been going up for a while now, and it's really noticeable. One of the biggest expenses when you live in a city is rent. We live in Gracia, which is not necessarily a center, but it's really nice neighborhood where you have a lot of shops, restaurants and cafes. For one bedroom flat we pay 793 euros without any bills included, and I think this is on the lower side. We got this flat during COVID so the prices were not as high as they are right now. A lot of contracts are signed for five years but you can cancel them after six months. So in our case it's a really good deal because our landlord cannot raise prices up for five years essentially. But there are some one-year contracts as well so you have to be aware of that. If you are on one year contract, most likely every year you'll be paying a bit extra. Currently prices are way higher than they were a couple of years ago. I have a colleague at work who pays 800 per month just for a room. And looking around prices right now for even a similar flat to ours start around 1000 euros and obviously from there they are just going up. Usually flats are going very fast and you have to make your offer quickly. For example, the flat that we got, we made an offer two hours after we looked at the flat and they already had one person uh, who was interested as well. And that was during COVID, so I can imagine that right now it's even more competitive. To get a flat, you will need one or two months deposit and most likely you will need to pay an agency fee, which is around one month. That agency fee is not refundable and it's killing me every single time I talk about it. It's ridiculous that you have to pay it, but it's pretty hard to avoid it. With the flat comes cost of utilities. Every flat needs to get insurance against strawberry or in case something is broken and that cost in my case 126 euros per month. Energy bill is something that confused me all the time and I still didn't get my head around it. Basically for the same kilowatt hour I pay during summer uh, twice less than during winter but anyway uh, during summer I pay around 40 to 60 euros and during winter months it's around 120 to 135 euros. Both me and my girlfriend are working from home so that cost might be going up a little in in comparison to other people that don't work from home. We don't have gas so the only other utility that we use is water and it comes every three months. It costs is around 60 euros every three months. Then we have internet and bills for two phones and that comes to 52 euros per month. Amount we spent on food is on the higher side as well. Most of the meals we cook at home but quite often we tend to go out. For groceries on average we spent around 250 to 300 euros per month and for eating out around the same amount but sometimes going up to 450 euros per month if there are more birthdays or we just happen to eat out a lot. In that eat out part I included restaurants, takeaways, bars. Generally for two people in the restaurant you look to pay 30 to 60 euros. Again depends on the restaurant and the place that you eat in. Uh, then for breakfast for bocadillo which is a small sandwich uh, you'll pay around three to four euros and coffee is again like two and three euros. Then the beer if you go to more touristic places you probably will pay around five euros but generally the normal price is around 250 to four euros depending on the place and, and where you're at. And with food you can always go higher of course or even lower but on average that's how much we spend. Getting around the city is quite cheap. In my case it's really cheap. I usually get around in three ways walking, cycling or public transport. So public transport costs 11.35 for 10 trips. Cycling I put as almost free mostly because I have my own bicycle which I have to maintain from time to time but previously I used to cycle with Bicing. It costs just 50 euros a year and I still have that subscription in case I need to use it sometimes. But you can also rent electric scooters around the city. There is an app called Diego and I think that there's a couple of others and it costs around 30 cents per minute. Driving a car can get quite expensive. There are very limited amount of parking spaces here in Barcelona uh, so the ones that you'll find most likely will be paid and you will have to pay 350 to 4 euros per hour. If you need to grab a taxi within a city you will pay around 10 euros. For longer distances you might pay a little bit more. To go to the airport for example you probably will pay from 20 to 40 euros. But there are really good cheaper alternatives like bus or train that cost way less and will get you there in 30 minutes or so. For example round trip by bus is just 11.65 euros and you can use it anytime within 90 days after purchase. Next let's talk about gym. I have a big discount on membership with Enjoy. 
I think that they are called AJ by Gym Pass right now. AJ is basically a company that has agreement with a bunch of different gyms, sports clubs and associations. So you pay a single fee and can access a range of activities like gyms, rent out paddle surfboards, go bouldering, do martial arts and much more. This is in no way advertisement for AJ, but if anybody is from their team watching, hit me up. Normally the plan that I'm on costs 80 euros per month and that sort of mid-range one. Uh, there is a cheaper one for 50 euros a month and the higher one for 120. There are other companies that offer a similar kind of thing like Urban Sports. But before you get one, make sure that your work is not offering any kind of perks that give you a discount. Because a lot of companies do and uh, those discounts are quite big. Gym subscription alone might cost anywhere between 35 to 60 euros a month. In some cases it's just specific times allocated when you use it and you pay extra to join classes. In others you can use it all the time. It really depends on the gym. If you are moving to Barcelona, most likely you will want to learn Catalan or Spanish. The place I'm going to is a public school for adults and it costs just 50 euros a year. And it also includes books and other material that you might get at school. Good thing is that they start from the very basic level of A2 and you can go up to B1 in three years. If you want to go for a bit more intense course to fast track your learning, monthly prices for language schools range from 100 to 500 euros per month depending on how intense is the course and number of hours you'll do. And these private schools have options to learn from B1, B2 and higher levels. Even though the one that I'm going to I absolutely love, all the teachers that I had up until now, they were brilliant and it's my third year, I uh, had no issues whatsoever. One thing that makes Barcelona such a great city is how easy it is to actually leave it. There are a bunch of beautiful small towns, parks, mountains and beaches you can explore. So for example, one hour train ride to Sijas costs around 10 euros, train to Girona is between 7 to 30 euros, train to Ribes de Freser, place really close to Pyrenees is 17 euros. You get a picture. If you plan to rent a car, you probably can find something for around 40 to 50 euros a day. Last trip we did to Andorra we paid 180 euros for four days. Okay so to summarize and talk about totals, so in my case everything flat related, utilities etc I pay around 1040 euros a month. Then groceries and eating out is around 500 to 700 euros a month, that's for myself and my girlfriend. For commuting I spent around 20 euros a month and that doesn't include that subscription of Bsync that I have that I pay yearly and it's 50 euros. On top of that I would add another 100 for any miscellaneous items and gym. If you're playing with the idea of moving to Barcelona and want to learn more about good and bad of living here, check out these two videos where I talk in detail about that. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and if you want to learn more about Barcelona and Spain, consider subscribing. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!